Hey folks, so this is section 5.3. This is an introduction to logarithms, logarithms. Before I start you out on the properties of logarithms, which is what section 5.3 is all about on this video, just properties, no examples being worked out. I'd like to show you two equivalent statements to make you recognize that you really have done equivalent state statements before. If I go back up here, and I look at this statement, 9x equals 72. I understand that this is a multiplying statement. And we know that multiplying is undone. The undo button is division. So this is the exact same statement as x is equal to 72 divided by 9. One is a multiplying statement. One is a division statement. They are undo buttons of each other, but essentially they are equivalent statements. What I'd like to show you is that uh, exponentials, which is, which is what you've been working on in sections 5.1 and 5.2, exponentials are undone by logarithms. The undo button of exponentials is logarithms, and the undo button of the logarithm is going to be the exponential. So the first thing that I have written for you is the exponential form a raised to the b power is equal to some number c. If I want to rewrite this as a logarithm, then what I'm going to do is use a capital L. So I'm going to come down, I'm going to hit the a first, I'm going to come over and hit the c next and then finish up at the B. So it kind of looks like a capital L. So the way that I'm gonna write that is log base A, base A. That was the first number I hit over here was my base A. And also notice that the base of the exponential is the same as the base of the logarithm. And just like the number, the word base implies, this is written a little bit lower than the rest of that word log. Log base A, the next number that I hit along the way is gonna be C. So log base A of C is equal to my power B, is equal to my power B. Log base A of C is equal to my power b. Now just a note when you're writing this, the log, the c, and the b, all of these things are written in the same size font on the same line. The only thing that's written any differently is the a piece itself and that's just written down a little bit lower than the rest of it. Now if I had a log and I wanted to turn it into an exponential, then I would use an E to do that. So I would begin at the A, I would hit the B, and then lastly, I would hit the C. And you can kind of see the E that is formed when I do that. So we have base A raised to the B power is equal to C. And that was what I had written the first time around.